I'd like to see in our lifetime, and I think we have the technology to make it possible, for human beings to live somewhere other than on the surface of the Earth. We are at the level of technology where we actually can imagine leaving our planet for just a few nearby uh, places in our own solar system. The moon is right around the corner, and Mars isn't that far away. We have the possibility of actually making at least the first steps on those voyages in our own lifetimes. I was a NASA astronaut. I made five flights aboard the space shuttle, did numerous activities, the most important of which was probably the rescue and return to operability of the Hubble Space Telescope. I'm one of about 500 people who has actually orbited the Earth and has been able to see the Earth from a very, very different perspective than we normally do on the ground or even flying in an airplane. You know, you can put your hand out and, and block the Earth, and that's, that's it. That's humanity. That, all, everything we know, I mean, every human who's ever lived, every piece of art that's ever been created, uh, and, you know, the whole thing is just up there on that one little ball. We're a little bit vulnerable, actually. Many people uh, have expressed the idea that for the long-term survival of humanity, we should become a multi-planet species. I would actually look at the ability to seed Mars with our terrestrial life as being almost an ethical imperative. I look on life as good. It's, it's, it's fundamentally good. The more we can spread it, the better. Space is not very far away. If you're in London, you could literally say space is closer than Paris. Of course, it takes a lot of energy to get up there, and you have to be going very fast in order to stay in orbit. So it's pretty expensive right now with our current technology to get into space, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that expensive. And I think we're seeing things happening now with interest in the private sector in developing space transportation that could be the leading edge of a revolution. If you want to set up a long-term base on the moon or on Mars or in any, any other place in the solar system, and if it's going to be sustainable, we need to learn to live off the land. What would living off the land mean if we went to Mars? You take the carbon dioxide in Mars's atmosphere and the water, which we know exists all over Mars, and you combine those with a little bit of 19th century chemical engineering. You have water to drink, oxygen to breathe, and with the methane and oxygen, you actually have made rocket fuel. A lot of the forces that shape our society here on Earth will be fundamentally altered for people living off planet. You will set up new types of social situations, uh, new types of philosophy, politics. I mean, who knows what will evolve? We, we're doing something by taking life from the Earth and bringing it to other places, which I look at as a enormously uh, revolutionary step in not just human evolution, but the evolution of life. <laughs>